The task at hand is to deploy uh, our, one of our .NET Core MVC apps with a database to Azure. And so uh, watching a student uh, of my class, Atticus, he's going to go through this exercise of, uh, of starting from ground zero. So the, the app is Sports Pro. So Atticus, if you kind of want to launch the app real quick and just demo um, that this is um, pretty early on in the class, but we do have a database and we're managing customers and products. And all of this data is coming from, you know, a local database and we've got some validation. And so it's not a super complex software at this point, but it is kind of uh, locally up and running. And so let's go ahead and shut that down, Atticus, and let's close that command prompt window in, as well um, uh, in your taskbar next to your Minecraft there. Yeah, let's close that, cool. And so it's not running at all. So now let's go to the old Google machine and the query that we're gonna run on google.com. Uh, so if you wanna go to google.com, <clears throat> And we're going to search for Azure for students. Okay, now uh, that second link there, Azure for students, free account credit. And we're going to click on start for free. And let's log in with our inside ranking account. And so you, you will there's basically two paths here. If you are a current student, you can use your student email and that would be the recommendation and that way you don't need a credit card. If you are not a current student, you'll at least need a credit card to sign up and you get $200 of free credit if you give them a credit card. Um, but we're all students and there's no guarantee we have credit cards. So um, we're just gonna use our academic verification. And so you should be able to um, type in Rankin Technical College, St. Louis. Plug in your information, you youngin. Two identical objects. These are silly. There you go. Okay, and then the other thing as a student, Atticus, if you kind of go back into Visual Studio while it's doing this, um, and then click on File, and then click on Account Settings, and notice you're logged into your Gmail account here. So I'm actually gonna sign you out of your Gmail account here. Yeah, go ahead and sign out. And I want you to sign in with your inside ranking credentials. Um, that way your Azure account matches the account that you're authenticated with on Visual Studio. And so I think you're typing on your other screen, your credentials kind of thing. Yep. Okay, send a message to your phone, all good. I'll kind of hang tight for that. Cool, and so just to verify, this is insiderankin.org. We can click on close now in Visual Studio. Let's go back to the web page that we were finishing our profile. I'm gonna plug your email address in again there. You know, just for the sake of this, let's put in your um, Let's put in your inside Rankin email there. And consent. Oh, yeah, you might have to click that second box as well down there. Well, maybe not. No, uh, select your state, I bet.
Cool. Probably selecting the state was the... <laughs> okay, so it redirected you to the Azure portal which is good you can see you've got 100 out of 100 available credits that's looking good um and you've got a year and a day awesome so let's minimize the portal website now that you see you got 100 available credits which is all good and we are ready to deploy this to to azure so let's go uh off of the build menus where we're going to find this tool so build and publish sports pro i wish i could get this a little bit more full screen uh show no i don't know this is this is what i'm stuck show with no, uh, show no video check that top one uncheck it yeah uncheck it sorry and then oh. click on it uh-huh oh that's better Cool, and so uh, we're gonna click Azure and click Next. We're gonna click Azure App Services for Windows and click Next. You should see your subscription now, Azure for Students. Uh, I'm gonna have you click the Create New Plus button um, off to the right, yep, Create New. And here is where you're going to name this. This is part of the URL. So call this, um, you know, your name. You can rename this. This is your final project. So there you go. Azure for students resource. And let's click create. And that's going to take a minute. Okay, so uh, this is a screen that brought us to next. And I think that's okay. Um, you can minimize that. I don't think that minimizing that does anything. We don't need to create new anymore. And I think what we need to click now is next. Let's click next. And... Now go back to app service for me. Um, click on create new. Nope, that's not right. I'm looking for, this wizard has changed. The next thing that we did last time was service dependencies, adding a new service dependency and added an Azure database. Um, This is different than, than it was just a year ago. Um, if you click next, it takes us to the next. And okay, so let's just, this is, um, let's just click finish. And now we have to, okay, so this is doing fine. We got the green check. Let's, let's click on close. Yep, we're doing good. Awesome. So now we need to add a service dependency. So kind of down there towards the bottom, you see service dependencies. I'm going to click the plus for add new service dependency. I'm going to type in Azure SQL Database. Mm -hmm. There it is, Azure SQL Database. Click Next. And let's create new. And let's keep the default name Sports Pro DB. Let's see, subscription name look good. Da -da. Database server. Let's click on new database server. Okay, now you're going to have to create an administrator username and password. And um, yeah, let's. Let's uh, call this again, like uh, Butte, yes. 
that's good. Let's see if that resolves. And again, this is um, you know administrator on the database credentials. So you're going to need to set up a whatever admin username and password that you can remember. And it doesn't look happy with that. Cool. Okay. And let's click create. All right. So we'll create the database and then we have to configure the connection string. So uh, that's going to take a minute to spin. So that is finished up. We now have a SQL database. I don't think there's anything to do here besides click next. Okay, so connection strings, we're going to keep that default. Whoop. Now, um, in my demo, last time I kept that default. Let's go ahead and put in your username and your database password that you just... Now that's red. We'll see. We might need to change that clearly if it's red. Last time, just keeping that default connect. Go ahead and click the drop down and see what that says. Uh, the drop down next to the red X, and it does. Does it let you select that? Tab off of that for me now. Does that go away? No. What does that say? It says connection string name is already associated with that. So just call it. Again, just call it connection strings. Delete the Sports Pro context. That was in there by default. What? You got it in there twice. Just put it in there once for me. Capital C, capital S. And, okay. And was it plural in the beginning? I think it was. Okay, so let's see. Save connection string in. That's a new. That's a new one. Um, Azure app settings. Yes, that's fine. And do not worry about anything else. That should be next. And let's click finish. And let that spin in the corner. And we've got a green check mark, which is always a nice thing. Click close. And let's see. Let me. <laughs> okay. We are not yet ready to click publish. Uh, I want to find more actions. So next to new profile, there's more actions. Let's click on edit. And um, I want you to expand databases. Um, down below and I'm going to check that box to use this connection string hit that drop down list for me and I want you to say data source equals and that's going to say using the Azure database so that top one is correct uh, double check that for me one more time in the drop down um, data source yeah we do not want local DB so we want the top one so that's correct and then scroll down, uh, Entity Framework Migrations, check that. Scroll down and apply this migration on Publish. And again, Data Source, okay, you can collapse those and click on um, Save. Awesome, now we publish and call it the magic button and see if the magic button works after we configure all these settings. And so I'm not gonna record this spinning, but we'll pause, uh, resume when we either success or error out. Okay, so we went from one spinning window to another one, publishing to Azure App Services on Windows. And so we are still spinning, but it's moving forward. All right, uh, probably took a few minutes, 
four or five minutes, but now uh, we're getting good messages. Publish succeeded. Web app was published at, so Atticus, can you click on that URL? Maybe hold down control and click and see what pops up. And now, of course, we're, we're on the internet with his URL. And it's going to take a, a little bit to spin up the first time. But we're looking good. If we click on products, let's see if our database seeded our data. Hey, looking good. And so go ahead and click technicians. You don't even have to change anything at this point, just verifying that the seed data is there. And now obviously if you change the seed data, you're changing it on a database hosted on their, their uh, site. And so yeah, awesome, very cool. Uh, successfully published our application. And so the next thing to do is um, make a change and redeploy, okay? And so I'll uh, probably cover that in a different in a different day because we'll we'll make some changes throughout you know next chapter and then we'll redeploy on a separate video.